This is your morning brief for Wednesday, June 26. Uh, U.S.-China trade. Mnuchin says the deal is 90% done. Uh, and the market seems to be up on that news. Uh, <laughs> let, well, let, I'll assume for the moment that it's 90% done. But we've heard these things from this administration before and only to be disappointed. So I, I really 100% don't know. But uh, I think the market is clearly given the benefit of the doubt given that the futures are up um, and seems to be reacting positively. All right, uh, FSA new report on a little company called Mesa Labs. It's only 900 million market cap, uh, but it was up 5% yesterday after being added to the S&P small cap index. We had just added this to our small cap, small and mid cap portfolio just this month. Um, so that was a nice little boost, although it also took a hit at the beginning of the month when uh, they released earnings that weren't as good as expected. But uh, overall, we're, we're sticking with it. You can uh, watch more detail on the video uh, on our website. Um, earnings reports. First off is FedEx. The top line was in line. Uh, and uh, earnings per share fell 15%, but that still beat estimates by a significant amount, posting a dollar... Uh, excuse me, 501 versus four dollars and eighty-five cents consensus. Um, management warned the trade war was greatly affecting business. Like this is a big deal for this company, the, these trade wars. So to to the to the degree we get relief from this, uh, you know, FedEx will move on this big time. I think um, we'll see. In fact, shares are up in pre-market because of I think more nothing to do with his earnings is more about the Mnuchin comment um, Micron came in at 105 nearly a third of its uh, number the previous year okay but still beat estimates of 80 cents um, management says they expect a the second still expect the second half to be strong uh, but stated the trade war is clearly dampening their outlook. Okay, because there's, there's a, you know all the stuff with Huawei, just trade problems with China in general. Uh, it's definitely affecting them. Um, all said, given that they beat estimates, the shares are up nine percent in pre-market. I would say, frankly, that moves a little big, but um, I, I still like Micron. But, I, I mean, I just don't see this as, as big news. That's so, I'm not sure why it's moving as much as that. I mean, we knew it was going to be kind of a weak quarter. Okay, they beat it, but who cares? It's a weak quarter. It's a strong quarter is when things start moving again that I'm more interested in. Basically, it's intact with some dampening effect from uh, the China trade wars. All right, General Mills. Organic revenue contracts 2%. That's basically the bottom line from the earnings uh, release today. And uh, shares are down 5% in, uh, in pre-market. And, you know, the, the simple fact is they have a lot of sugary snacks. And even in the U.S., they're moving to healthier uh, options. Okay. Um, and one positive note, though, their pet division, the, their branded Blue Buffalo, which they actually bought, which I have fond memories of because uh, we owned Blue Buffalo, um, those results were actually quite strong. So that's good. But the sugary snack, which is their main thing, was down 2%. And uh, it's not the best time for uh, General Mills at the moment. But I think if, if they can convert to more healthy options, uh, you know, they can turn it around, but they, they've got to prove it. So at the moment, they're not proving it. As we said earlier, uh, the futures are up, and uh, that was because mostly attributable to Mnuchin saying the trade deal is 90% done. So there you go. It looks like we're going to have a decent opening. Uh, that's your morning brief for Wednesday, June 26th. Let's go find some gems.